Welcome back to Cedar Valley Today. A 14-year-old is being hailed a hero in Illinois today after his saving his nephew's life. The sounds of gunshots woke up the boy Sunday night when he saw his, and then he saw his stepdad with a gun. After he wrestled the gun away from his stepdad, he grabbed his five-year-old nephew and ran out of the house. Unfortunately, his mother and two of his siblings were killed in the shooting. At least 15 are dead after a volcano in Indonesia erupted on Sunday. Rescue workers are unable to continue with recovery efforts today because of what of the dangers of a still going near a still bubbling volcano. Thousands have been evacuated since September when the volcano first roared back to life after years of inactivity. And four are dead after a small plane crashed near a YMCA in Nashville, Tennessee on Monday. The crash happened just south of John C. Toon Airport. Officials say some cars were damaged in the crash, but no injuries were reported on the ground. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. And President Obama wants students to be more connected digitally. Yesterday, he introduced a new education program called Connect Ed. The program would include iPads, laptops, and free wireless internet service for middle schools. Companies including Verizon, Sprint, Microsoft, and Apple have already pledged millions of dollars to extend digital learning in classrooms. And Google has gotten itself into some hot water. Google doesn't have the proper permits to build a four-story showroom barge off the coast of San Francisco. The barge would be an interactive space showcasing showcasing Google's new technology. Without the proper permits, Google will, for now, have to move the barge.